welcome back to Potions Class. My name is Asiya, and right now we are in the midst of Mabon. Mabon marks the autumn equinox, and it is essentially a harvest festival. This is the time when night and day is equal, and it represents harmony, balance, and equality. So what are things that you can do during Mabon? Apparently, it's a day for feasts, fire offerings, and sacrifices. Now doesn't that sound exciting? I don't know much about sacrifices, but I'm hoping a few charred marshmallows is enough to appease the gods. More modern ways to celebrate this time of the year would be to do more fall things. So apple picking, potlucks, decorating your house in fall colors, enjoying some pumpkin spice lattes, and you know, cozy things. This is the time to give thanks for all the abundance that we've received this year and focus on what we want to manifest next. Today's potion is called Fiery Mabon Cocktail, and this is the perfect potion to enjoy by a fire with friends and family. This cocktail features seasonal flavors of blackberry and sage, bringing you healing, abundance, and wisdom. This potion also provides protection and cleanses negativity, helping you prepare for darker days to come. So without further ado, let's craft our Fiery Mabon Cocktail. So these are the ingredients for today's potion. You will need two ounces of scotch, one tablespoon of blackberry shrub, one and a half tablespoons of honey syrup, two dashes of Angostura bitters, three fresh sage leaves, and an orange peel for garnish. All right, so first grab a cocktail shaker. Add your scotch, blackberry shrub, honey syrup, two dashes of bitters, and your sage. Add ice, and shake. Strain your cocktail into a glass. Lastly, add a flamed orange peel. And ta-da! Fiery Mabon cocktail is complete! If you want to do some advanced magic, harness the energies of the Two of Pentacles tarot card. This card reflects the cycle of endings and beginnings. Take some time to consider what chapters need to end in order to bring in new beginnings so that you may find balance in your life. Taste test time! All right, Fiery Mabon cocktail. Cheers! Whoa, this is like so smooth. Is that what scotch is like? I don't drink enough scotch to know, but this is really easy to drink. Like it's strong, but there's no burning alcohol feeling at the end, which I'm not actually used to. <laughs> like I can taste the scotch in everything, but it doesn't hurt going down, which is amazing. So this cocktail is definitely on the more mellow and sweeter side. Um, there's not a lot of acidity in this, and I'm actually surprised because the blackberry shrub is actually made with vinegar. And I thought that would make this drink very sour, but it's actually barely sour. Like, if I smell it, it smells acidic, but when I drink it, it's not acidic. So it's kind of confusing. Mmm, blackberry is one of those flavors that you don't really taste. Um, you do get a hint of berry flavor, but it's very, very minimal. The sage isn't very strong either, but you do get a hint of that as well. The color of this is a nice fiery red though, so I think it's rightfully named. 
This is definitely a dangerous drink since you can't feel the burn, so I can see myself sipping at this slowly without even realizing that it's hitting me. But yeah, I feel like this would jazz up any fall activity that you do. Imagine how creative you would get with your fall decorations. This would definitely be good for a feast. I don't know about the sacrifice though. Well, that's the end of today's class. Thank you for joining me and I hope that this potion acts as a reminder for your accomplishments this year. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, class is dismissed. Stay magical!